during the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. During the National Anthem and Pledge, please remove your hat and place your hand over your heart. Those in academic regalia, please leave your mortarboards on. Former military may salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The national anthem will be presented by Cherie Robinson. Independence. 
where it is seen as an unalienable right to be able to pursue happiness. All right, so now let's look at shelter. If you've been sheltered, it means you've been protected against harm and against hate. We all shelter what is important to us. We shelter what we love. So this means that you have been deeply loved by your parents and your family. Do you know what happens to people who are deeply loved? They go on to love deeply. They also go on to be secure in themselves. And if you're secure in yourself, you feel free to explore and you feel free to create. Sounds to me like the perfect foundation for an artist. Entitled is another term used to define millennials. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, for one, it means you're discerning. It also means you believe there are certain things you are entitled to, certain things you deserve. But what I can, from what I can tell, millennials believe all people deserve these things. In other words, you are civic-minded. You believe the world should be fair, and there are rights that go along with responsibilities such as equity and justice. As for the label lazy, that just seems mean, doesn't it? First of all, and your parents can attest to this, the older generation has always referred to the younger generation as lazy. I think it's because we need more sleep when we're younger. Or maybe we know how to have balance in our lives. Maybe you are still stopping and smelling the roses. Maybe you're enjoying the journey and not just the destination. I think maybe you're efficient. After all, you're tech savvy. And being tech savvy means you know how to be efficient with your time. Now, what about the trait narcissistic? Well, that's also used to describe millennials. But what does that mean? Well, it's confidence. But it's actually confidence without empathy. So I'm just going to discard that one because we all know that description of you is wrong. You are a confident generation, but all evidence indicates you care about others. You think globally, you are able to take a pers perspective of people who are vastly different than you. You don't judge. You are open-minded, compassionate, and empowering. You don't do for others, you help them do for themselves. So, what have we determined you are? You believe in happiness and dreams. You explore and you create. You are efficient, you are fair, you are equitable, and you are just. You are open-minded, compassionate, and empowering. You are success in the making. You are the class of 2016. Congratulations. I'd like to now bring to the podium a favorite of all of yours, Mike Arsenal. Our first guest speaker today is someone I have had the pleasure of knowing for the past few years. I still remember the first time I met Gavin. Uh, he decided to hire one of our own students directly out of her portfolio review one night. He not only wanted to surprise her, but he wanted to film it and make a big production out of it. So, of course, those who all know me, I'm more than glad to accommodate such things when, when it comes to these students. Um, so, of course, I quickly came to realize that this passion he shows towards hiring a new employee he brings to every aspect of his company. His attitude is both energetic and contagious, and he is always willing to help the next generation of designers. Whether it's through an internship or being a guest lecturer, Gavin is continuously willing to help. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Gavin Robin, the creative principal of one of Palm Beach's most insanely creative agencies, Delray Beach's own Damn Good Agency. Thanks, Mike. Great introduction. Can you come with me to all my meetings? I'd like that. Dr. Jets, honored guests, parents, faculty, alumni, and especially, especially all of you uber-creative, talented people, today is your day. I'm truly stoked to be standing here speaking in front of all of you this morning. 
Believe it or not, I normally don't like to stand on a stage on a, behind a podium and speak to people, giving a three and a half hour speech. <laughs> Kidding, it's actually four hours. Kidding, it's really just a couple of minutes and three hours of booing. But back to my point. Um, as, I, as, as I've been asked, back to my point. As I had said, normally when asked to give a speech, it's something I don't enjoy doing. But when Eileen asked me to give a speech to you guys, the graduating class 2016 from DMAC, hell yeah, of course I would. I'm on it. Thank you. Hence, here I stand pumped and excited and ready and really happy to wish you well as you continue on your journey or embark on your new journey in your life. How cool. Just think about it. Each and every day you get to do exactly what you want to do. You get to create. And you get paid for doing it. Bonus! You might have to pull some long hours, work at nights, work on weekends. You might have to work your asses off for the first couple of months, do iterations again and again and again. Get no sleep, but I promise you, it's so worth it. You get to design, you get to socialize, you get to model 3D art. You get to develop websites, develop brands, produce games, work on campaigns, illustrate, render, animate, and most of all, just create. Having started my career in fine arts and then moving into ceramics, then switching career choices and eventually ending up in graphic design, and then moving and working in ad agencies across Canada and the United States, I eventually moved up to creative director and finally opened up my own ad agency 21 years ago. I can assure you, if you love what you do, and you work hard, you work damn hard, and you're willing to learn everything, be a sponge, absorb everything, most of all, keep that passion always hot and fired up. I know you are bound for great things in life, and you will discover incredible <coughs> opportunities in your career. True story. At one stage of my career, I worked at a large air agency in Fort Lauderdale. I was a creative director of a team of 11. I was presented with two options in working for the company. One option, work 9 to 5, get paid normal salary, and do a regular job. Other option, Work from 10 o'clock in the morning through the night until 3 o'clock the next day. Have a day off and then do the same again. You get paid more money. Obviously, I took the one with more money. Well, after doing that for seven months <laughs> and having to drive an hour each and every day to and from work, I was burnt out. I was done. I was exhausted. <coughs> I was finished. I had a lot of fun doing that. But I realized that my weekends, seeing my friends and having fun and relaxing and doing the things that I also enjoyed doing, I wasn't able to do. So, my plan of getting rich quick and doing it the quick way didn't quite work. Moral of the story, nothing comes easy, but keep at it and you will see it definitely pays off. Over the last three years, I've been really fortunate enough to have been involved with DMAC in attending numerous portfolio reviews and presentations from graduating classes, being involved in some of the eternal staff meetings, and having some team members from my agency present to DMAC about agency life and have class and faculty in coming to help paint graffiti on the walls of my agency exterior. Uh, it's been an awesome experience. In fact, I've hired DMAC students and graduates over the years, and currently in my department we have a killer designer that's been with us for some, a couple of months now. Um, now comes the part where I'm going to give you advice at your graduating ceremony, just before you leave. Not the kind of advice that your parents give you, not the boring advice about finances, girlfriends, boyfriends, not to text and drive, how to get all out of those awkward Tinder dates and where to hide the dead bodies. No, 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 that I'm going to leave to your parents. What I'm going to give you advice is instead I want to talk to you about your future, about perfecting your skills, about enhancing your careers, about being the best that you can possibly be, and about remaining true to yourself and having that passion. Okay, so here goes. Always extend your ability in what you do as a creative. Go further, try harder, be bolder than the rest. And never, never hesitate to be a part of something. Always contribute your ideas to each and every project. Every idea is a spark that ignites the next idea or conversation or direction in executing work. In a work environment, it's far better to contribute than not to contribute at all. When producing, building, directing, or creating anything, have the courage to go with your gut. 
knowing that as long as you can back up your creative and your strategy with a solid rationale, then your creative is sound and you will be well received. Always learn from other creative people in the industry. Learn everything. I'm still learning today. Try everything. New things. Stretch your creative talents. Trends, technology, and life is ever changing, and there is nothing more exciting and empowering than learning new things that are fresh, different, and innovative. As you begin your career now and into the future, set goals, set them high, keep reaching for the stars, put everything you've got into being the best you can. Believe me, you will get there and you will achieve all of those milestones. Most of all, you have to love what you do. Remember, you are the lucky ones, you are the fortunate ones, you are the talented ones, you are the creators. You've just graduated. Now go out there, be you, be creative, be the best at what you can do. Have fun and just kick off. Well done to all of you. You should be very proud of yourselves. I know your families, your DMAC lecturers are. And even though I only got to work with just a few of you, and I only got to meet just a few of you last night, I too am proud of all of you. I thank you for allowing me to be a part of this incredible day. See, I kept my speech to under 15 minutes. Thanks to all of you. Show the world what you're made of, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Robin, for those wonderful words. I think that the best advice is to have those very high goals and seek your dreams. We have a uh, token of our appreciation. Dr. Carlson to the stage. At this time, we'd like to uh, commemorate the honors degrees. Being a 3D artist is a time-consuming endeavor. 
It requires an astonishing amount of dedication, time, and effort. It demands countless amounts of arduous, sleepless nights, as well as a deep and profound passion for what you do. When I was studying for my master's degree in visual effects, I had the chance to meet an artist who had that level of dedication and passion for his artwork. Like me, he was spending countless nights working, learning, trying things out, experimenting with new techniques, learning a little bit more, making mistakes, finding ways to correct them, and honing his craft. That artist later became a mentor for future industry professionals and is now going to be one of our distinguished guest speakers. Let me introduce you to Cedric Dawson. Good morning, DMAC graduates. Um, can we just give another round of applause to these guys that are graduating? Um, first and foremost, I would like to uh, thank this opportunity to uh, speak to you guys. Um, thank my Heavenly Father for giving me such grace and uh, giving me um, such wonderful people that he's aligned in my life for moments like these. Um, I would also like to thank the entire DMAC faculty and staff uh, for allowing me to inspire my fellow um, alumni who are passionately pursuing their dreams. Um, I'd also like to start by thanking all the people who have inspired me as I am the sum of the time, uh, patience, prayers, and ideas poured into me. I couldn't have done this without them. I graduated from DMAC in 2007 when we were actually located in between two banks. And uh, the irony of that is that after we graduated, we were left with a huge loan from the banks and we were all broke. <laughs> um, I'm very blessed to say that I just paid off my student loan by, by hustling. And, uh, <laughs> Gigs and uh, just working very hard. I tried my best not to buy the latest threads. Um, you know, uh, I actually own several pairs of holy socks and undershirts, so I'm pretty sure a few of you guys can relate with me on that one. I actually still own, uh, own a few pairs of those shirts, just to kind of remind myself of that hustle. Um, but I'm pretty, sure, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that you guys will all reach that point in your lives as well. I remember once I, I told myself after I received my, my bachelor's in fine art from Idaho State University that I was going to move to Florence, become this great painter, the whole world was going to know who I was. Well, the whole world is yet to know who I am, but I did get a chance to travel to Florence, Rome, and Venice with my best friend, my wife, on our second anniversary. I'm so thankful for the experiences with my wife and, and my uh, my partner in crime, such as visiting the Statue of David and uh, being able to store a piece of the history in my memory bank and not on an external flash drive. I remember the security guard was like chasing all of us, um, you know, people with cameras and she was always saying like, no photo, no photo, you could just hear her voice like echoing throughout the uh, museum, it was hilarious and we still talk about that to this day. Um, I was actually living paycheck to paycheck at that time, but she taught me how to save, how to budget, and prepare for the future. So if there's one piece of advice I can offer you guys, is this. Take control of your debt and not the other way around. Set financial goals and prepare for the future so that there's no way you have any excuse as to why you can't go out and see the world. As artists, manifesting our ideas and our visions is what drives us. Knowing how to tap into that source is the key to our growth. I believe that this occasion isn't one of luck or of chance, but of hard work and perseverance. So, what makes any of you guys different than the next guy or girl that went to school in India, China, the United States, or South America? And why should your dream company hire you guys? Right? And the answer is simply, why not? And you guys put in the same amount of time, blood, sweat, and tears, right? Everyone's story is different and intriguing, 
but it's the belief in yours that will not only allow these companies to buy into it, but to also buy into you. So believe in yourself no matter what the obstacles are, no matter what the situation looks like, so that you can fulfill the innermost desires of your heart. I love how Les Brown talks about chasing our dreams. As he says, dedicate your life to a cause much larger than yourself. There's much to be said about the intensity of one's life. When you dedicate your life to a cause larger than yourself, you bring on powers through God that will work through you that you never knew existed had you not attempted to do that thing. So what are you going to devote your life to? See, I can relate to you guys and, and the struggles of being a grad student. I moved from California to Idaho where I got my uh, full ride football scholarship and pursued Bachelor in Fine Arts. And then came to Florida to get my Master's in Computer Animation. I was 3,000 miles away from home. I rode my bike 30 plus miles to school in Florida. So you guys know that's hot, sticky, and love bugs. It's like sticking all over you when you're riding. Um, my bike got stolen on three different occasions. Um, I worked full time, um, and you know that was a that was a life back then. Something I'll always remember. When I finally completed my school days, I would fall asleep on any one of the ten machines I was rendering my, my thesis on. Um, and I did this for two years straight. The DMAC work ethic is very similar to that of the um, industry. I have a best friend of mine whose name is Wayne Hollingsworth. I talked to him on the phone and he's had the privilege of working on numerous commercials, Spider-Man, Thor. And I asked him if he could describe his work day for me. And he said, Cedric, remember how we used to grind at DMAC? Those 10 to 14 hour days, just like that. You have to be hungry for success and your vision. So what's yours? My vision is slowly being fulfilled day by day. The more I feed it, the stronger I become, the more I'm led to victory. Some of you will be called into the film industry, others into medical, animation, uh, education, or even video games. We all share the same desire, which is to bring about our creativity and message through the arts and to inspire. See, I started DOS Animation School as a means to empower the youth uh, with storytelling skills. It's a place to teach them how to communicate their thoughts, create the world's unknown, and how to be driven by their vision. Most of the students that attend are already gifted and others are seeking guidance. My vision for DOS Animation School is to hire staff that are passionate about what they love to do and will help me to teach the future how to dream big and become the future leaders in the industry and maybe even come to DMAC. Just imagine a 12 year old who goes to this two year program by the time they graduate high school, they'll have six years of experience working on you know, the same software that you guys use, and we'll have worked on it in a short film. I mean, that's pretty amazing to me. Dreams are realized one day at a time, and you will have to make sacrifices for your dreams. So wake up every morning and look at yourself in the mirror and make declarations. So I want you guys to repeat after me, okay? It's a little exercise. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Oh really? <laughs> so with a little bit, you know, a little gusto, right? I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. There we go. <laughs> right, man. Wow, we can stop right there. <laughs> I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the head and not the tail. My circumstances don't determine my future. My choices determine my future. No response is a choice. I choose to be successful in everything I do. I choose to be successful in everything I do. Ooh, man. You guys feel a little taller, right? You're all destined for greatness, and I believe in all of you. I really do. All dreams are outside of your comfort zone. So leaving that zone is uncomfortable but it's the only way to growth and maturity. 
because every journey towards your dream is a personal one. So show the world your heart and live your life with no regrets because your story is being written right here. This day you'll remember it as the beginning of a bright future. Good luck and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Dawson. That was very powerful. I, I really felt it when you guys said it. I really believe you're going to get out there and do amazing things. We have a token of our appreciation. And literally, I have to go through here and make sure we're all on the same page. So as I'm doing that, let me tell you a little riddle. I'm old, so sometimes my riddles are old. So if this is really old, just you know, work with me on this one. So there are five frogs sitting on a log, and one decides to jump off. How many are left? Five. Do you know why? There are five on the log, one decides to jump off, there's still five there because there's a big difference between deciding and doing. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Gotcha. All right. <laughs> so now, to prepare you to get out there and do, we're going to actually confer the degrees now. Are you ready for that? Yeah. All right. Before we do that, I would like to acknowledge some special people in the audience. I would like to ask that President Mr. Sonny Sharma stand up, as well as our faculty. Oh, our faculty, please stand up. And the DMAC staff who has joined us in the audience, please stand up. Thank you, you may be seated. We will now begin the conferral of the degrees. Will the following candidates approach the stage? Associate of Science in Graphic Design and Associate of Science in Multimedia Design. Chelsea S. Ong, summa cum laude. Thank you. 
to your leader who now. Will the following candidates approach the stage? Bachelor of Fine Arts in Graphic Design. Angelique Usaret. Caitlin R. Rowland. 
John W. DeRogier. Valencia M. Simpson. <laughs> Will the following candidates approach the stage? Master of Fine Arts in Visual Effects Animation. Michelle E. Esrick, <laughs> Nelson Mungia. present the candidates for the graduating class of 2016.
study and conferred, I wish you my sincerest congratulations. By the authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I confer upon you the degree awarded with all its rights and privileges thereof. It's now time to move your tassels from the right to the left to symbolize that you have completed your educational journey. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the 2016 graduates. Professional and remain at your seat until our faculty and graduates have recessed from the building. 